Welcome guys, uh, in this video I am going to show how to load uh, data using uh, infinite scroll bar in react. So whenever we scroll at the bottom, we will fetch the data without uh, having page generation uh, links or uh, the buttons. So this will automatically load all the available data whenever we scroll. Usually the Facebook has this kind of feature to load the post. So for this, uh, we will uh, use a react waypoint library how to detect whether the user has reached the end. So this is a sample application where uh, initially I call the API and uh, fetch 20 records from uh, GitHub API. So this has a few parameters which is page and uh, items per page now. So uh, whenever I get the data I render the user card. So here I am going to now uh, show how to use infinite scroll to fetch more uh, records than the second page, third page and all. So we will create a uh, few states to store few parameters like page number and all. So this is the page state where we store the current page number. So whenever uh, we trigger the API we will uh, set the, uh, send this page in the API and we will update it whenever we get the response. Now uh, we will create uh, another API or uh, another state uh, which will contain whether uh, the next page is available for us to fetch. So this can be uh, done in multiple ways. In this approach I am going to use these two states. So you are free to use uh, whatever logic you have. But basically this is uh, just a implementation of an infinite scroll bar. So I am going to use uh, the state page from the state. And now let me show the output of this uh, API. I am going to show it in browser so that uh, you can see what uh, it actually written. So this return, it returns total count in the search query and uh, the data. So this is what we will get. I fetch this and store it in state and looping and show it as a card for you. So that is where I use set users where I load all uh, the data exists with the existing data. I just uh, concat uh, the array with the new records every time we call the API. So now, uh, let me uh, first check if the next page is available based on the count. So if total count and the count that we have received, the user's data that we receive is same, then uh, I will uh, stop uh, the next page, otherwise I will, the next page will be true. user length plus items dot length items is the new items that we receive from this api if that was the case then i will uh, set this uh, flag uh, fast next to false so that uh, the api will not be triggered after that and now after setting this uh, users to the state we just need to update the page number to the next page. It means uh, for the first time the page will be 1. So the next, once we get the response, we will update it with plus 1. That means like page 2, page 3, page 4, like that. On the next API call, we will use this page. So in the get data function, or if the next page is not available, then I will not proceed with the API call. So I am going to return now nothing void. So for this, uh, this is the library that I'm going to use, uh, React Waypoint. So this is uh, just to indicate whether where uh, Waypoint has entered into the viewport. So whenever uh, we will place this at the bottom of the screen, and whenever it enters into the viewport, we will trigger the API. That is where this infinite toolbar works. So there are a lot of other packages available, but uh, this is very easy for me to integrate in uh, my applications. So that's why I'm showing you how to use this in your application. You are free to use any library or you can build uh, this in uh, your own JavaScript or uh, API, Observer API also.
now the package is installed so now let's go ahead and uh, import this package and use it so we just need to use this uh, which has on enter and on leave callbacks props so here uh, we just care about on enter for uh, the infinite scrolling part so whenever uh, this waypoint enters into the viewport we will uh, trigger this API so we need to place it at the bottom of our screen so I am going to place it after I loop and display all the user list so that should be the bottom now this waypoint uh, will be triggered only when we have an next page so the continuous API trigger will stop when we have uh, the 99 records from this API and on enter I will call uh, load mode data or I can actually directly call the get data API but let's say if you want to process anything further you can do that with the load mode data function so we can also pass the children to this waypoint which will be displayed to the user inside the waypoint so I'm going to use uh, just a phantasm icon spinner icon and uh, just going to show some text like loading data or fetching data or something like that so it will be user, so easy for user to understand that something is going on and uh, he will be shown with the new data so I am going to use loading data and I am going to use phantasm icon here and I have a phantasm uh, react package if you want to know how to uh, use this phantasm icon package then there was another video uploaded in this channel you, or you can check the link in the description so we'll go and import it and add it to the phantasm library and we can use it uh, wherever we want you know inside our application let me go here and add the spinner icon here spinner and we need to set uh, the spin tag uh, to true props to true so that the loader will actually the spinner will actually spin this is a part of this uh, phantasm icon uh, package so now uh, we are all done let's create uh, the function load mode data and for me now this just uh, call the get data function and I'm going to check if uh, page is greater than 1 for the first time I don't need to do this because uh, we will fetch the data from the component did not use effect so all done and uh, let's go ahead and uh, check the output so we have uh, the first uh, 20 list is loaded let me scroll down to the bottom and uh, view port it came inside viewport and fetch the next data so if you want to show I can show you the API call that is being tri triggered whenever we scroll to the bottom of the page so let me scroll again so whenever we scroll to the bottom uh, we trigger the API call with page 3, page 4, page 5 and go on till uh, we have the last data so we got 99 and uh, the API triggered to our stop because we just have 99 data and that's it uh, it's very simple uh, to integrate infinite scrolling in your application thank you guys thanks for watching the video please subscribe for more videos like this